Well, the stove pipes in y'all. Rick, we got it up yesterday, day before yesterday, something like that. We got that spot over there fixed. Come to find out, there was no insulation, so the sheetrock, or the yeah, the sheetrock was drawing moisture. <sighs> Mobile homes. Look here. It is 50, 50 degrees, I believe. So we do have a fire going. I'm gonna be cooking on this sucker in a little while, y'all. I'll bring you back when I do that. Okay, since we've got the stove going, I get to do what I've been itching to do now for months. I hate cooking on the electric stove. It bothers me badly. And it's just going to be hubby and I for supper tonight. So, we're going to eat breakfast for supper. And we're going to cook it on the wood stove. Alright, these will take the longest because obviously I don't have an oven on my wood stove. But I make me an oven. There's my trivet. That's to keep the biscuits from burning on the bottom. There's my oven top, y'all. Oh, let me make sure it stays over the fire. Let this finish drying. Let the biscuits get about halfway done and we'll start with the rest of the food. I'm back. I wasn't thinking y'all. My sausage takes a while to cook too, so. There's my sausage. Now we'll be back in a little while. Okay, as you can hear, the stove's getting up to heat now. The fire's starting to roar. So hopefully it won't be long. Okay, it's been probably 15 minutes since, or maybe even 20, since I've started. Let's check and see how the biscuits are doing. See them? See them over there? They're fluffing up. Okay, I've already got my salt and pepper in my eggs. Put me a little grease in here. Hubby loves scrambled eggs, so that's what we're doing.
I should have got that other spatula. I do not like this one. Those biscuits are smelling good, y'all. Now, they probably won't brown on top like regular biscuits do. Or I've never had luck with them browning on top. But they still get done. This is going to be mine and Rick's supper for tonight. I'm not having to waste the electricity to cook. I've been missing using my cast iron cooking because I've noticed that on electric stoves, cast iron seems a little heavy to put on it and it tends to break my electrical coils down. Those eggs are pretty much done so I'm going to set them up there let them finish cooking. I gotta go let a dog in. I'll be right back. Okay my phone got a little too hot over there by the stove. But now we got our sausage done. Hubby loves gravy. <clears throat> So this is how I do my gravy. There's my salt. My pepper. My flour. Everybody I've seen that says do flour, they say do equal parts. I was never taught that way. I was taught how my mama said to do it, and she says, sister, you just dumps it. So, I dumps it. Let that, whoa, I'm making a mess. Let that gravy or that roux brown up just a little bit. You want that flour to cook. If not, that flour is going to end up tasting like glue. You don't want your gravy to taste like glue. So here we go, y'all. We're going to do the gravy. And once the gravy's done, supper's done. I think I will have to have hubby though to fix me a little uh, table that I can have over here to have my stuff on. It'd be a lot easier to mix it up over here. And... So let's finish this gravy.
There you go. The gravy's done. I had to move my biscuits. They were getting too brown. I'm going to sit that gravy right there for now. That'll get it up off the direct heat. We'll put a plate together and show you what it looks like. All right, here's supper. Normally I have my gravy on top of my biscuits, but you know what? Y'all needed to see how the biscuits turned out. That was using my wood stove. Man, I want a wood cook stove so bad. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Remember, y'all, the world's a better place because you're in it. Please don't ever forget it. And I do love you each and every one. Y'all take care. Bye.